जानकी सर ज्वाइन हो रहे हैं या वी कैन स्टार्ट आई थिंक वी कैन स्टार्ट वी कैन स्टार्ट ना ओके गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीवन मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो मी आई एम अभिषेक अभिषेक तामकर फ्रॉम द एडमिशन टीम एंड अलोंग विथ मी टुडे वी हैव अदर टीम मेंबर्स ऑफ एडमिशन टीम uh shilpa divya and ruchika and along with that we have uh, uh my colleagues from the academic affairs team from office of student services admin team uh control of examination uh the agenda of uh, keeping this online session uh, was uh to smooth and streamline the process of documentation and uh, the document verification process and we have an uh, our erp system called academia most of you have uh almost all of you have paid uh, your fees through that academia portal and this is the portal from where uh for the next 4 years all your uh, mark sheets your fee payment and other details uh, would be uh, shared and uh, so that uh, for to uh, as i said to uh, streamline the process uh, we are now asking the students asking you all including your seniors and super seniors who are present here to upload uh, the required documents in this academia portal uh, so this session uh, i am dividing in three parts the first session is where uh, janki ma'am will take you through to the process how you have to upload okay there is a request that my voice is not clear just a minute am i audible now am i audible yes sir okay yes yeah. sir yeah so i was saying that i have divided this session into three parts the first session is where uh, janki ma'am will take you through how you have to log into your academia portal and upload the documents second part is where suha sir from the control of examination will tell you how to generate the abc id if you have not generated yet so abc stands for academic bank of credit it's a uh, mandate now to uh, for every student to have a abc number so how to generate that that would be taken by suha sir at the end me and along with me the admission team uh, and rohan from uh, office of student services we will take generic uh, general questions related to uh, hostel uh, summer festival or any other things related to joining to the campus okay uh, so i will pass on this now to janki janki ma'am if you can uh, i have made you the co-host you can share your screen uh, and present how the students can upload the documents in the academia portal sure abhishek sir thank you so i'm sharing my screen here let me know once this is visible to you yes it is visible all right so hi student a very good afternoon to all of you uh this is janki vaja from itt and as abhishek sir said that i am going to take you through this academia portal and i will tell you how you can upload your documents and abhishek sir i would request you to uh, you know you can brief the students which are the documents that is required for them to upload here so in between i want you to intervene and uh, you can uh, explain them in a better way okay so i, I will uh, share uh, take this part uh, in the last section all right so uh, first is their academic and uh, uh academic documents that we are uh, talking about so they are you all are aware uh, that how you can log into academia portal as you have already paid uh, your registration fees right so in the portal on the dashboard you can say the left hand side panel we have an option called my profile okay so once you click on that in my profile there is a option available called documents so you need to click on this here 
you can see some documents uh, of a dummy student that we have uploaded, right? This is the list of documents that you need to upload from your end. So to do this, what you need to do is go to documents uh, option, click on add button. Here we have already predefined list of documents that is available into uh, this option document type drop down box. So once you click here, there are multiple documents you can see which is already predefined for you that you need to select and upload the appropriate document over here. Fine. So say for example, I want to upload my Aadhaar card. So I will select Aadhaar card option. I will choose the location where, where my Aadhaar card is available as a soft copy document. I will select that document here and click on upload. Fine. Once the document is uploaded, you need to click on save button and the document will be submitted. Am I clear with this? Uh, Janki, ma'am, if you can, uh, means is there any specific uh, format on which uh, in which we, they have to upload like JPG, PNG, PDF? PDF you can upload. Okay. And JPG also you can upload. Any size limit? Uh, no. Okay. But preferably a low size uh, document. Low size document, preferable. yes. Okay. If it is within 10 MB, that is good. Fine. So this way you can upload a one by one multiple documents like we have uploaded Aadhaar card, then you can upload your 10th mark sheet, your 12th mark sheet and the rest of the documents that are available here like hostel check-in form, check-out form and all that we will see PAN card and other things right in the uh, next option how you can upload this. Uh, clear with this? Any query, any doubt? Anybody? Uh, if uh, if for example by mistake a wrong file has been uploaded how the students can rectify that so what you need to do is no the deletion option is not available here again okay. you need to select that same document okay and you can upload it we will check the preview right and we'll uh, keep the correct one and we will delete the uh, other one Uh, Rutuja, we will uh, sh uh, we will inform you the last date for doing this. But currently, uh, before you come to the campus, uh, you need to upload all these documents. Shall I move ahead? Yes, please. Okay. So uh, this is the way, uh, way where you can upload all these documents and uh, to download this document, to fill up this document, uh, where it is available to, it is available here on the Academia Drive. In the same panel, you can uh, see the last option available here, that is Academia Drive. Just click on this, select Academia Drive. We also will share a user manual with you soon after this meeting so that also you can refer. And anyway, uh, Abhishek sir will share the recording of this meeting with you. So in the Academia Drive, we have two folders available called forms and policies. Okay, so these are all policies that we have uploaded here like hostel policies, the IT policy and the data management policy. Policies, you can uh, double click on this uploaded uh, PDF and it will be downloaded to your system or the device. So you just need to double click this icon and this policy will be downloaded. To your device, you can open it. And you can read the entire policy. So all the processes are mentioned here in the policy that you can refer to.
अभिषेक सर जी मैम दिस इज फॉर देम आई थिंक हियर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेल देम समथिंग अबाउट द पॉलिसीज इफ इन डिटेल नो policies we will discuss later in a separate uh, meeting session for okay right. for hostel we'll have a separate session fine so if you can go to the uh, form yes. section yes 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 uh janki ji uh, have this been updated in all students or will it we will be updating it to uh, to the students academia later No, no. This is already updated for Because all. Because there are some students who are saying that they are not able to see the policy and form section. Mm, I will check this. Okay. I think we have. Uh, we need to change the setting. That we will do soon after this session. Okay. Can you share the form? Uh, the form section. Yeah, you? sure. Janki, uh, you're saying the form section as well. Just a second, no. Huh? Yes, I'm showing the form sections as well. Yeah. Okay. Till the time, uh, Janki ma'am is getting back. uh sharing this A any query general query no oh, danki ma'am is back all right so these are four different policies uh, policy documents that are available here you just need to click on this and you need to download this policies and you can refer to it so this is just for the sake of your reference okay the first uh, folder that is available here that you need to fill up the forms okay so here i am explaining you the forms how what you need to do here is in the academia drive uh, select the forms folder uh, double click on this update uh, uploaded pdf file download it the different uh, forms that has different names we have mentioned here in the forms right so what you need to do is just need to download this uh, forms you need to fill the information that is required here and you need to upload this form in the document section which we have seen uh, earlier the first which i explained document section there you need to upload all this documents all this forms after filling it up uh janki ma'am there are many students writing that they are not able to see this form in policy section so please look into that that i will see we yeah. just need to check the settings soon after this meeting we will enable okay. it for all the students and this will be visible to you as it is okay 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 so here you need to write uh, the information that is required okay once you fill this up the print outs right again you need to convert this into a pdf and you need to upload it in the document section am i clear with this any query any doubt you have uh, can you repeat this once again there is a student i think joined late and requesting for this uh, you want me to explain the entire screen or entire screen if you means entire process right from starting if you can repeat once more okay fine so let me log in as student in my academia portal
So after logging into the Academia portal on the dashboard left hand panel, we have Academia Drive option available. Just click on this, select Academia Drive. There we have two folders. One is for the policies and one is for the forms that you need to fill up and upload into Academia Drive. Okay, so under forms, we have three, three, six, and one, seven. Total seven forms are here. You need to choose which form you need to submit, you need to select, uh, fill up and sub, uh, upload, right? That form you need to download first by double clicking the PDF option. So once you double click on the option, this form will be downloaded. You need to take a printout of this form. You need to fill up the details that is required here. Again, you need to uh, scan this form as PDF and you need to upload it here under my profile documents. Here, you need to click on add button, select the document file or type that you want to upload, just like uh, here, which form I have downloaded. Uh, just a second. You have downloaded uh, student mental health. Student mental health information form, right? So here we have student mental health information form. So this is predefined documents uh, that is available in the list of document type. You just need to select this option and the filled form, which you have saved un into your device, right? As PDF, that form you need to upload here. So select the location. Say for example, I have downloaded this form, right? I have filled it, I have taken the printout, I have filled it up and then again I have saved it as PDF into my system. Now I am uploading it. So click on upload. Fine. Select the document and then click on save. Save. Submitting the form. Okay, document already exists for this document type. So in the dummy student, if you can see here, we have already uploaded this document for your reference that, you know, once you upload this, how it will look alike, right? And once you upload it in the right hand side, you can see the preview of that uploaded document in the document section. So once you upload this file, after that, you can check the preview of that document that you have uploaded. Like this. Any questions? I hope I hope I'm clear. Yes, yes. So, uh, so we'll be sending a mail to all of you when we'll be activating this for all of you. Uh, in that mail, there would be a link for the anti-ragging form and all the different forms required for academic and for the hostel purpose. Uh, for the uh, anti-ragging, you need to click on that link. There would be some details you need to fill. Uh, there would be some university details which will be mentioned in the mail that we'll be sharing. You have to, uh, you have to uh, submit that uh, anti-ragging form online. There would be a reference mail that would be coming to your registered mail ID. That would be uh, uh, entering while filling up the anti-tagging form. Uh, you have to convert that mail into a PDF file and you have to upload that anti-tagging uh, reference file, uh, reference mail. So that would be one thing. Uh, apart from that, all the necessary documents uh, as, uh, as mentioned in the mail also is your 12th mark sheet, uh, sorry, your 10th mark sheet, 12th mark sheet, School leaving certificate. Now there was question in the chat that uh, you have still not received. So uh, there, uh, before coming to the university, some of you might have received, some would receive it later. Whenever you receive it, you know the process of uploading the documents uploaded there. There would be a deadline uh, for that. Uh, that would be mentioned in the mail as well. And uh, 
most of the documents that we are asking uh, is already there apart from the school living certificate. So before you come to the university, uh, means before the orientation that is on 10th of July, you need to upload all these documents in this academia portal as uh, just Janki ma'am shared. And you need to uh, bring a, a hard copy, a printout of all these documents as well. Any questions? Yes, we, uh, we have recorded this session and we'll be sharing with all the students present and absent both. Any queries uh, for uploading the documents? Excuse me, sir. Yes, Priyanshi. Sir, actually I haven't got the certificate of 12th class. Uh, so it is that compulsory because the school is telling that uh, the CBC has haven't sent them the certificates. But you have received yes, the mark sir, sheet? Even though I have the same thing. Same you have received quality. the 12th mark sheet? Uh, no, sir. Not yet. Uh, we have the digital copy. You have the Will digital copy. But uh, have you checked with school by when you are expected to receive this hard copy uh, of 12th mark no, sheet? No, sir. They haven't told yet. Okay. Okay. Abhishek, sir. Yes, sir. Can yes, I talk? Okay. Yeah, yeah, please, please, please. Okay. So if the student has a digital copy uh, uh, from the DG locker, uh, it will work till for for matlab, we can consider that for now. Okay, for the timing we can consider. Yeah, that. For, but for from the uh, digi locker only, not from any other uh, digital copy. Okay, so thank you so much, sir. So I hope most of you have received a digital copy from digital uh, digi locker only. If you have, if you yes, don't have a hard copy, then the digital copy is from the digi locker, right? So either it would be a school living. So there's a question migration certificate. So is uh, either the school living certificate or, or a migration certificate will work. Uh, Janki, any, anything left with the uploading of documents? No, I'm quite clear. Like you can ask the student if they still have any query, then I can explain it one more. Any time. query with respect to uploading the documents? Let, let's finish this section plus. Sir, from which link we, we have to log in? I will, I will, so the mail which I will be sending, uh, it will have the, the link to this academia portal and your credentials. It is already uh, with the offer letter mail, we have already shared this. But uh, once again, when I'm sending you for this uploading of documents, I will share the link. Okay, with sir, thank you. Welcome. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, we have to also upload a payment receipt. From where we have to upload the payment receipt? Payment receipt, you don't have to upload. Uh, sir, call mail I was written that was a technical error. Uske baad aapko ek mail aai gaya tha that uh, due to technical error, you have received that mail for the fees payment. So please ignore that mail. Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome. Anything related to uploading the documents, please? Uh, sir, I have a doubt. Yes, Rakhte? Uh, okay, so like uh, the one, the documents which ma'am showed in the forms, right? You have to upload only those documents or like all of them. I will, in the mail that I will send, it will have all the required documents that you need to fill and upload. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And all those documents would be up, uh, available in the folder that ma'am shared. Yeah, yeah. That was my doubt. Like, if okay. I have to upload only those. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, currently, uh, uh, Janki, ma'am? Hanji. Uh, I, I don't think students have the right to edit the information in the academia, right? No. Okay, so the students, uh, they can check their personal data. So by logging to the academia portal, whatever error you find in that data of your personal data, personal information, uh, please, uh, ma'am, uh, any specific idea on which they need to mail for getting that change? The personal information you're talking about, yes. like name and their date of birth. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, so for that too, they have yeah, uh, option available here in the academia. Uh, called student request. So okay. once you log into your portal in the panel itself, uh, the third option that is available here that called request, just click on this, uh, click on my request. Okay. And from here you can raise a request. 
So choose a category personal data change. Okay. And uh, you can check all the personal information like uh, date of birth or your name uh, that need to be printed on the mark sheet and all. Uh, if you want any change into that, you can write the remarks for this and you can upload the document, uh, academic document to, uh, you know, uh, change that name or date of birth. Okay, uh, I'll add here uh, for some like one point or one or two points here. So for the student, uh, when we say any academic document, that means uh, it is your uh, school college certificates or the document issued by the academic institute only. Uh, here we don't uh, consider the Aadhaar card or PAN card in this case, uh, because let's say my name is on my Aadhaar card. My name is Suhas Toshniwal. But my document, which I have an on academic document, like 12th mark sheet or 10th mark sheet, it has a name Toshniwal Suhas Suresh. So, so the sequence of the name is different with the uh, name is uh, written fully with my father name. So I need to follow the academic documents and you need to upload your relevant academic documents as an proof for the uh, change and update the record uh, for the birth date. If you want to change the birth date, you need to upload the school college migration certificate or uh, transfer certificate or uh, living certificate only. So we uh, follow the uh, these documents to be uploaded as a proof for the uh, uploading and uh, verifying the document. Uh, there is one more reason I'll specify the reason why we are emphasizing the on the academic document. When you are doing your PG, when you will go for the PG or if you will apply for the PG or passport office, uh, usually it happens if there is a mismatch in your academic document. Let's say 12th mark sheet pe aapka naam alag likha hua hai, sequence alag hai, naam same hai, but sequence alag hai. And aapke degree documents pe ya anand se jo documents banenge, uske upar agar naam ka sequence alag hoga, then they will ask for the verification or you need to go with the entire change or rework on the document. So that's why we emphasis to keep the name as, as, as per your 12th mark sheet should carry forward to the uh, our Anand National University. I hope I have cleared it. Okay, so, sir, if I have understood right, so if in my 10th mark sheet it was written, uh, Toshniwal Suhas Suresh, so the first name becomes Toshniwal? No, no, no. So see, every state or every university or every education uh, institute has their own methodology to write the name. So it is universal that my first name is my own name. That is my name is Suhas. So that is my first name. If it is written in middle or last or first, it doesn't matter a first okay. name. It is not asking Understood. for a sequence of the name. Okay. First name is a student or the person's own name. Last name is your surname. Sir. Okay. And a middle name or the father's name is your father name. Okay. So the sequence could be anything from any university, but always remember, this is a good question. Always remember uh, whenever you were asked for some forms to be filled up, uh, usually it has a question, he write a full name or write a first name, last name, middle name separately. So you need to understand the first name is your own personal name is your first name and last name is your surname. Okay. Uh, any question related to uploading the document so that if not, we will move to the ABC thing, Academic Bank of Credit. Uh, sir. Yes, Ananya. Uh, sir, what is the student undertaking form? Will it be provided to us? Yes, it would be provided to you. It would be in that uh, academia folder. Any other question related to uploading the documents? Any doubt? Okay. Can uh, you repeat uh, that uh, bank of credit? Uh, yeah, that, that we are covering now. That will be covering now. Uh, Janki ma'am, you can stop sharing your screen. Yeah, sure. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, Suha sir, if you can take 
everyone through how if they have not generated uh, the ABC number, how to generate the ABC number? Okay. Yeah. I'll, and the process for the same. Yeah. I'm sharing my screen and uh, uh, one minute. I hope uh, my screen is visible. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So uh, we will be sharing you the this presentation uh, in future. We have created this for the current students also. So uh, this has a entire process of um, if someone has not yet registered for the DG Locker also and the Bank of Credit also. So both uh, are covered here. So uh, we will be sharing the same. So registration for process for the DG Locker and Academic Bank of Credit, uh, it is a mandate given by the UGC and the uh, uh, Education Ministry. So uh, to create a ABC account, ABC account is a, a bank of credit, academic bank of credit as it is uh, specified. Uh, it is kind of bank, uh, whatever the credits you will earn in during the education, uh, it will be, uh, accumulated into this bank and they will secure that. So if in future someone wants to uh, take some break or some transfer or anything that this will help you. So if you'll go to YouTube, you will get the uh, a different awareness uh, videos prepared by the government only. So you can go and uh, see the details over here. So we'll follow for the first, we'll, I'll explain further how to register on the DigiLocker. I know most of you have already registered on DigiLocker because most of your CBSE results are on DigiLocker. So I hope you have created the DigiLocker. But uh, still, uh, if someone has not created DigiLocker, they have to go to DigiLocker website. Uh, and then first is a sign up with the DigiLocker. Then after, at the, during the sign up, uh, they are asking for a full name as per other. You have to upload your name as per return name as per other, uh, birth date as per other. And this full information has to be pre properly uploaded. Mobile number has to be linked with the other has to be uploaded here. Uh, I prefer most of the student I can request. Uh, you should have your most of you have your own mobile number. So your other should have your linked with your own mobile number. So in future, whenever you'll get some document or some uh, ABC uh, or the result or anything, you will be able to you can be able to upload. Uh, sorry, see the documents uh, by using your own mobile number only so so it has to be there so you here you need to create first pin and uh, you uh, you need to remember that uh, with this all process you need to complete the entire process you will get a one otp for the registration first sign up time after that whatever you have created uh, they will ask for uh, some username you can uh, use the create your own username here, make sure you remember your password and user ID. So whatever you have created at this level, security pin or password. So that has to be remembered for lifetime next time onwards. So password and user ID for further use. So this is very important. After you log in on the DG Locker, so you can see it will say hey, welcome to Suhas or whatever the, your name. It will show you, it will land to the DG Locker page. There, there will be a advertisement popping up for the academic bank of credit. So you need to go to academic bank. If you have not opened a DigiLocker account, so I insist first open a DigiLocker account and then go to the academic bank of credit. If you have logged in already or you have a DigiLocker account, you can directly log into DigiLocker and then you can directly start with the step number seven uh, for the uh, academic bank of credit registration. So this will he cl just click on here. It will lead you to the ABC ID. It will again ask name as per Aadhaar, birth date and some things. It will get verify and uh, uh, it will create your own document. So after this update basic information, it will ask for the select your university option. 
select your it will have a college institute or this thing so you have to select university option anant national university is is registered with the dg locker or abc as a university so you have to register it as a university then type institute name anant national university you have to select anant national university so this is very important this has to be selected mark i uh, this tick and then get document so after you do that you'll get a document page uh, reflecting in your dg locker which has a your abc id written here 16 digit uh, sorry 12 or 16 digit abc id will be over here you can download the abc id from this point then this kind of abc id document you will be able to see so you have to keep this pdf safe place or you need to keep it it is like a pan card or or, or other card only so it is academic bank of credit uh, number which will have your name birth date uh, gender and uh, abc id written over here so as sir if you can stop here for a minute please yeah. so this the student need to download right and keep it safe yeah and so this they, has to be uploaded in the academia portal this has to be uploaded on academia portal and yeah. uh, shortly we will also share one google form uh, there we will also ask okay questions. sure sure okay so this will be uploaded uh, i will prefer i have a one question does this all student has received uh, anant you email uh, email id and uh, no. registration so, anant you uh, id on the day of orientation they will receive okay. or, or or day prior to that okay fine okay. so if it is received i prefer to rename the after you receive the student id you can rename it uh, the document let's say the student id is written like this so this is a student id given then underscore your own name then the whatever the already written i ind gov abc id whatever the already previous name or the title of the pdf keep that same but just before that add your student id and your name this is because we will receive more let's say 200 300 students so if i want to segregate the student it will be very helpful for us so i insist to rename this and uh, then upload onto our portal yes uh, sir if uh, the student has already have a 12 digit abc id uh, provided by the school they don't need to re register right yeah if they have already uh, uh, 12 digit so they have to but informed us that they have a abc id already with them so we need to uh, tie up with or or in uh, um, uh, add their name into our this okay. our portal and then onwards our all credits and grade will be uh, carry forward into that okay so, so they have to have upload that uh, pre existing uh, Yes, yes. The number into if, the academia and in the uh, the Google sheet that will be shared. Yeah, if anyone has already created ABC ID, they don't need to recreate because it is a unique single time ID number. It is like PAN card. It is like a other card, one time ID number. Okay, so this entire other again there is a some summary. So I think. Uh, 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 i have made all clear so if you have any queries about abc id yes sir so we have one question already there yeah uh, this is this abc number is applicable to all boards including cambridge igcse yes but uh, if the students are now enrolled with the anand national university so if they have not created i request to create with anand with anand only so okay. that we don't need to tie up or or the uh, okay. divert that all other process so now onwards so if let's say for example i'll tell you that uh, if they work with uh, anand uh, sorry create id with anand and share that id to their old university or the old school okay, i have created this so they can directly upload their own data over there also if okay. that school or college is doing that then only they will update okay sir. okay any further question related to abc Oh uh, sir. Yeah. Yes, Ananya. I I have created my ABC ID and I was I downloaded it and I was trying to upload it in the document section, but uh, it says that it can't um, uh, upload it with multiple extensions, and 
you said that you needed that uh, the original name and i'll have to change it after i get the anant id and all but it's not uploading it now because of the name so i have to change the name to upload it so do yeah, i yeah you can for see on academia portal when you are uploading on academia portal you can just rename with your name abc id let's say suhas toshniwal underscore abc id and upload it on academia portal okay sir thank you. okay this was when we will share on google form at that time you need to upload on google form because uh, it will be easy for me to uh, segregate the information any other question please don't hesitate to ask question no questions can we move to the third section should we go to the third section raise your hands or unmute and say yes yes, yes sir. sir okay yes sir okay uh yes sir yes sir the forms and uh, the other details would be shared on mail so that, that i have already told okay uh coming to the third section the students who have uh, opted for hostel and uh, have paid the full uh, semester fee uh, we are starting the allocation very soon and you will be informed about the hostel that have been allotted to you on your mail uh, the students who are coming for the summer festival and opted for hostel uh all the girls would be staying uh, at the bhagat singh hostel and once uh, we start the uh, alert, uh, once we start the check in for the main uh, on 7th of july they would be given their respective hostel numbers that time uh, information number 1 uh information number 2 related to hostel is uh, all the required documents uh, for hostel check in has already been uploaded on the academia portal uh, we will be activating uh, the portal for you all uh, just after this session so you need to download all hostel related forms from the academia bank uh, the uh, sorry the academia drive you have to uh, print you have to uh, there are, so there is one document called student undertaking which you need to fill and sign there is a parent undertaking form which the parent need to fill and sign uh there is two uh, forms which need to fill uh by the doctors one is physical health form and second is uh, for the mental health form so that you need to get certified uh, with not only signature we need the stamp also of the doctor in that document and uh, before you upload it to the academia and bring the hard copy during your check ins uh ron am i missing anything with the hostel check in yeah just a minute i'll open up the policy and i'll tell okay and before uh, before you download the form please download the policy read it carefully and then you sign the undertaking yeah so hi everyone uh, my name is rohan uh, i manage the office of student services over here uh, meaning the non academic student experience while they are at campus and are at hostel i by and large uh, with the other team members look into it college ke sare function ke liye inhi ko pakadne ka yeah so uh, as as by abhishek i'll just quickly go through the list of hostel forms that the students have to carry first is the hostel policy student undertaking as uh, told by abhishek uh, the policy has already been shared i guess is that right abhishek yes it's already uploaded yeah so uh, the students and parents of the students who are joining the hostel uh, it is very important that uh, they read the hostel policy thoroughly uh, it has mention of some of the most important rules regulations and guidelines related to the hostel and once they have gone through the hostel policy they can come to the first form that is the hostel policy student undertaking meaning that you have read the hostel policy you understand the rules and regulations and you agree to abide by the same second form is students physical health form uh, again these forms are available uh, on the academia portal and also as a part of the policy 
So in the physical health form, it has to be filled by a doctor. Uh, some questions related to the physical fitness of the student. Third form is students' mental health information form. Uh, this has to be uh, filled by parents. Some questions related to uh, the mental health of students. And uh, in case of some pre-existing mental health situation, it has to be shared by, uh, filled by a doctor. Any, any information that the hospital committee should know, uh, you can use this form to let us know about it. The next form is uh, parents' contact information and undertaking. Uh, part one of this form is the contact information so that the hostel committee, the warden and me, we have information uh, to contact the parents if required. And the second part of this form is the undertaking that the parents have also read the hostel policy and they also understand what are the rules and regulations of the hostel. Next, we have the hostel check-in form. Uh, while joining the hostel, there will be a complete check-in process. We will share the entire check-in process with you over email in a bunch of days. And the hostel check-in form has to be filled and submitted at the time of checking into the hostel. Next form is hostel room amenities form. Uh, once we hand over the keys to the student who is joining the hostel, uh, they just need to tick mark against each of the amenities provided and confirm that I have received these, these amenities. If there is problem with something, uh, we'll get to know through this form and we will immediately fix it. And the last form is hostel checkout form uh, that we can leave, leave it for later. When the students are leaving from the hostel, uh, that time they'll have to fill the hostel checkout form. So these are the forms, uh, but I'd like to again put an emphasis on the hostel policy. Go through it, understand the basic rules, regulations and guidelines. These have been designed for the overall comfort and safety of the students joining the hostel. So do go through the hostel policy and in case of any queries, uh, you can contact me or you can contact Shivani. She is the hostel warden. She has also joined the meeting uh, or Abhishek and Abhishek, I suppose you will share our email IDs and all with them. Yes. Okay, before I go further, why the cameras are off again? No, oh, waiting for me to say that switch on the cam. Okay. Uh, Nista is asking anything for PG students. Uh, no, you don't have to fill any forms. Just the uh, forms related to, uh, what you say, related to academics only that we will ask. You need to submit that. Other, apart from that, no. So Prachi is asking, are the roommates are assigned or we decide? No, we assign. The hostel team, so not, not we. So there's a separate hostel team, uh, which includes Rohan and Shivani, ma'am. So uh, they, uh, on the as uh, we saying from the starting, it's on first come first serve basis on which we do the allotment to the hostel rooms. Uh, no, Kushi, these are forms, uh, not only for hostels. Uh, these are for the academic purpose as well. And that is why we had kept this ses uh, session uh, to inform you how to upload these documents. Any other questions? Uh, Ananya has raised her hand. Yes, Ananya. Uh, sir, you earlier said that the hostels like will be allocated. Not the rooms, but the hostel like the wing. Yeah, that we will inform you uh, most uh, Ron, by the end of this week, we'll be able to uh, inform which hostel has been allotted. Yeah, yeah, we, we have already begun with the allotments and okay. we are targeting the end of this week. Okay. So, so by end of this week, them. you will come to know which hostel has been allotted to you uh, on the basis of uh, the first come first of basis of payment. So that you will come to know the room number you'll come to know on the date of check-in when you're coming. And I had one question which I read. So uh, the students coming for the summer festival, uh, they can uh, do the checking into the hostel on 17th, 18th. Very yes, sir. Yes. And the students who are joining directly on the orientation week, uh, they can check into the hostel on 7th, 8th and 9th of July. Timings would be 10 to 6. We would request you to please come in this time only. Sir. Yes. Sir, I have registered for hostel stay, but uh, other PDLs are not received. Uh, yes, Bhavna, because you have paid the fee a day before yesterday only. So it will be configured by today or tomorrow. Okay, thank you, sir. Welcome. Yes, Arya? Uh, sir. Uh, sir, it's not related to the hostel, but uh, actually I was not planning for the travel service. But uh, now, now I want, so uh, what is the last day to... Uh... You just drop a mail to the admissions mail ID that you wish to opt for the hostel 
and so not can, for the hostel uh, oh, sorry for for the transport yeah right? and uh, you can see the pick up and drop points from logging into the application portal go to the fee section oh uh, sir that also i have uh, i just wanted to ask that uh, only i have to pay that uh, amount 5000 or something was no, that no no that's that's uh, the initial acceptance based on the pick up uh, point you choose we yeah. will configure the fees for the transport so just drop a mail to the admissions uh, which is your pick up and drop point which would be your pick up and drop point okay that i have to mail there yes accordingly okay. the fee would be configured okay okay thank you sir uh, yes sir uh, like can't we like choose the hostel not the room but the hostel uh, currently uh, i think we have, uh, <clears throat> for girls we have only one option uh, that's the bagat singh hostel uh, which is inside campus and uh, that's a girls hostel uh, inside the campus that's the only option for uh, the girls right now okay any other queries okay so, so the one question is coming again and again let me address that question the mail for the fee which was received yesterday evening was a technical error the last day to pay the fees is today 15th of june okay the uh, after the yesterday's mail uh, we have sent another mail uh, that this was config uh, this was sent to you because of a technical error please ignore the mail which was sent yesterday evening the deadline to pay the uh, semester fee first semester fee is today sir yes uh, yes koshi so can we get an extension for paying the fees uh, you drop a mail to the admissions id yeah the i already did ha uh, so uh, we will uh, forward it to the uh, p department will need oh, thank you sir. if approved then only you can get an extension okay. sir there was a there was a mail earlier one month before for paying the fee is it the same fee or is it additional fee now no no sir uh, uh sir uh, the mail uh, the new mail which i am i was talking about yesterday evening actually it was configured for the students existing students uh who are studying at anand but by mistake it was sent to the new students also so that's why please ignore the mail that was sent yesterday evening okay any other question general questions sir yes so on the fee receipt it is given total outstanding amount what is it about kalo oh, trupti yes trupti please repeat so Uh, on that fee receipt, uh, it hmm. is given total outstanding amount. So uh, what, and what that what amount it is there? Total outstanding amount. Ha, what is the amount that is mentioned there in the outstanding? Uh, fifteen thousand. And you have not opted for hostel? No, sir. Not okay. for hostel. So by default for all travel. the students, by default for all the students, the transport uh, acceptance fee of five thousand. and hostel acceptance fee of 10000 was configured that's why it is uh, uh, it is showing you uh, outstanding uh, we will discuss with uh, the it team and uh, we'll see if that can be removed later okay sir thank you welcome excuse uh, me sir good afternoon abhishek sir uh, uh, amod here from amod kelkar from bahrain Yes, sir. Uh, I just want to know that this transportation fee, no, which you have charged five thousand. This is basically for what, actually? Ah, uh, sir, this transportation fee is for the students, local students of Ahmedabad, if they are opting yeah. for the transport. So we have a uh, predefined eight or nine stops. From there, if you want, if they want to avail the Anandju transport facility, they can opt for it. So this uh, is this is, is this applicable for the students who are staying in hostel also? No, 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 sir. No, no, sir. Because we have paid it already, since it was a part of the option, I have paid the full amount in all the. Fees. Just drop a mail to the admission ID that by mistake you have paid the transportation fee, and this is not yeah. only for you. Uh, I'm saying to all the students who have by mistake paid uh, the hostel fee, please drop a mail to the admission ID that by mistake you have paid this transportation fee of five thousand, and please attach uh, attach a cancelled check copy, and we'll initiate the process for the refund. Okay. 
Now that that's what I wanted to know. It's not not nothing to uh, worried about the payment, but the for what this I mean, are you going to okay. provide the college is going to provide any okay. transport okay. facility for seminars okay. or something like that? I, I was thinking. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, okay. Yes, Bhati, ma'am. Hello. Uh, is it yeah? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, can a parent can go to a hostel uh, room of kid? And uh, just uh, to look into when they the come at on seventh. Yeah. So when the students come for the hostel check-in, they would be yeah. uh, the parent would be allowed once to go and see the room that has been allotted to the students. The parents are not allowed to arrange the room. Okay, perfect. Ma'am, बच्चे बड़े हो गए अब वो आपको वीडियो कॉल पे से रूम सेट करके दिखाएंगे. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, I have uh, sorry. I joined late. Yes, sir. And just want to know regarding in the mail, there are some documents to be uploaded. I have checked the site, but I am not able to see the anti-ragging form or uh, medical sir, form. There is no anti-ragging form. Uh, we'll share a link for the anti-ragging because this anti-ragging is uh, from the uh, Ministry of HRD. So they have a central database of this anti-ragging. We the student need to uh, fill in the details there. And uh, once they submit that online form, they receive a reference number uh, on mail. So, in the next mail that we'll be sending uh, with respect to this uploading of documents, we'll share uh, the list of documents. One thing, second, the link to the uh, entry ranking form and the some of the details that uh, university details that you need to fill. So, what about medical form? So that would be uh, available in the. Uh, academia folder okay so then so you need we have to, to download, download and fill the form yes 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 okay. so there is a one query sir yes sir i am a father of uh, bhavna jovey yes sir so on a seventh itself if we cannot attend the hostel is it okay like after two days if he will come and then uh, uh, so i could understand your question sir instead of the seventh july mm -hmm. we come on a ninth july The seventh, eighth, and ninth, all three days, we'll be doing the hostel check-in. Okay. The timings are morning ten to evening six p.m. Okay. Okay. So as I inform, I have missed this um, uh, session. Can yes, can I get the recording of this session so can I yes, I can understand? Yes, sir. Sure. We'll be sending okay. this to all present here and the absent also. Uh, the recording of this session, uh, the PDF file of how to generate uh, the ABC ID that also will share. Any uh, other questions? Sir, yes, sir. My yes, name is Sharvi, and uh, I have this doubt. Like, we are checking into the host, uh, hostel for the summer festival. Uh, okay. Do we have to bring all the hostel uh, forms and all for yes. this? Yes, hostel festival? forms are must. Okay, and uh, will be will the hostel room be same for the whole uh, academic? No, session? no, no. So, uh, for the summer festival, all the girls would be allotted the Bhagat Singh Hostel. That would be uh, till seventh of July, which is the last day of summer festival. Okay. After that, you will be informed your room number, and you will shift to your room number. Okay, but the camp, the building will be same. Bhagat Singh World. So, if you have opted for Bhagat Singh, it would be the same. Okay. Actually, I have opted for SH one. So. Okay. So uh, you will come to know about uh, the allocation of hostel. Which hostel has been allocated by the end of this week or uh, coming week? Uh, but the room number you will come to know only on seventh, eighth, or ninth okay. when you check in. Okay, thank you. Uh, what is the last date to submit these forms? Because we have not yet received this. Yes, LC. sir. Yes, sir. So uh, we were waiting for this session to uh, to be done for the students. Uh, now we'll send the mail in a day or two to all. Mostly by tomorrow afternoon you will receive all this. Okay. Orientation starts on tenth of July. Yeah. Okay. There are questions related to hostels. Uh, uh, yes, Netra. Uh, can I join the summer school from twenty six? Twenty six. Just. Yeah. Mm, so most of uh, okay nineteen. So yes, you can join from twenty six. That's not an issue. that uh, only thing is uh, there is an idea contest 
so you will have to uh, be part of an existing uh, idea contest group. So you will miss two sessions of that. Otherwise, okay. it's okay if you are joining on twenty sixth. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Joey. Uh, we we were told that we might uh, get an email for uh, the hostel that we uh, get our preferences, but we didn't get any chance to choose our yeah, preferences because, also. Uh, Joey, I think you have uh, mailed uh, for the uh, the hostel preference. I think, and we have noted all the hostel preferences that was shared to uh, to the admissions id or to rohan directly on uh, uh, on on the resident life email id uh, based on the first come first serve basis I, I haven't given any preference as such till now but i think when you came you have told me that time for the campus visit yeah not like through mail though yeah so that day we have noted your request okay yeah excuse me sir yes anahita uh, uh, yes i am anahita's mom hello uh, actually she has gone to attend the class okay. so i am here i wanted to know sir that uh, what is the last date for us like uh, for financial aid students to fill the form and to fill the fee and all that uh, ma'am your financial aid was uh, uh, decided yesterday so uh, by tomorrow your uh, fee would be updated accordingly so you can pay after that after that after tomorrow after tomorrow yes. right thank you sir thank you so much excuse me sir kon bole i can't see can you raise hand who is saying sir it's akshay devi yes akshay please tell me so as you said that the hostel check in timing would be 10 to 6 and uh, my flight would be reaching ahmedabad or uh, like at 525 so yeah. the timings would PM be strictly followed or will it be extended am or pm akshay so pm pm okay uh we'll see we'll see we'll try to uh, accommodate but uh, uh, i know because you are coming alone not your with your parents Uh, yes sir we'll make some arrangement don't worry sure sir huh. so uh, okay so i will take a break on asking uh, taking questions verbally there are a lot of questions on chat uh, let me just see and answer them and we'll come back for uh, the verbal questions uh No, Dusha. If you are not opting for hostel, you don't have to fill the hostel forms. Mm, okay, that I've answered. Uh, SH one. So there in SH one hostel, there are four blocks: A, B, C, and D. A, B, uh, and C is for the girls, and D is for the boys. Uh, college timings. Normally, the university class timings are from eight thirty to five thirty. Uh, Monday to Friday, but the campus is open for students on Saturday, Sunday. If they have assignments or project work to complete, they can come to campus. List of when are we getting the list of stationery or things to bring? Uh, Prachi, if you are coming for hostel, uh, means you are checking the hostel. Uh, hostel room will have mattress and pillow. You need to come with the pillow cover and bed sheets. uh you need to have your own toiletries uh, because uh in sh1 hostel and bagasing hostel uh the washrooms and bathrooms are floor wise common apart from that uh, we have a full fledged uh, stationery shop in the campus uh, so i i don't think you need to carry on uh, the stationery items from your home you can buy it from here if you already have you can bring them uh then uh nikita if you had not uh, given the preference of sh1 uh, earlier uh, sh1 is already uh, full for girls so we don't have uh, there if you have already shared uh, your preference earlier and uh, made the fee payment will definitely look into that academia portal link yes we will be sharing it again once they have already been shared uh, with the offer letter mail uh yes fadmi you can come on 20th june on uh, this when is the orientation i have told it's end of july june 
Okay, uh, so how to reach uh, ANU, Anantyu from airport? So there are, uh, one option is you take a cab uh, from airport, you come directly to uh, Anant National University, option one. Option two is uh, you will find a BRTS, Burst Rapid Transport System. Uh, there's a separate uh, ticket counter for that. As soon as you come out of your the airport, uh, you can take uh, BRTS up to uh, ISKCON Circle. If you want to note, please note down ISKCON, I-S-C-O-N, ISKCON Circle. Uh, this bus is specifically uh, starts from 6 a.m. in the morning and it runs till 11, uh, till 11 p.m. And uh, it runs from airport to ISKCON and ISKCON to uh, airport. And from ISKCON Circle, you can uh, book a cab or an auto and uh, you can reach campus. Uh, same way, if you're coming from uh, railway station, Ahmedabad railway station, uh, you can uh, take uh, BRTS and you can, will find BRTS up to Guma Circle, G-H-U-M-A, G-H-U-M-A, Guma Circle. That's the last uh, BRTS uh, towards university and Guma BRTS station is 2.5 kilometers from the Anantyu campus and from there you will get uh, autos and you can reach the campus. Orientation schedule will be shared by the academic affairs team, uh, most probably by the end of this month uh, for, for this. This I have answered. Uh, transportation for the summer fest is available. Uh, if you have not opted for the transport till now, please pay the initial 5,000 and also mention uh, in the mail uh, uh, what would be your uh, pickup and drop point. And accordingly, the fee would be configured. So Netra is asking how many girls. So uh, more than 100, 110 students are coming for the summer festival. 50% uh, is from outside Ahmedabad and the remaining 50% are from Ahmedabad and uh, mostly girls. So I would say around 75%, 75% girls and remaining 25% boys who are coming for the summer festival. Uh, college Netra. calendar. Yes, Netra. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Uh, the university academic calendar would be shared by the, uh, by the academic affairs team when they will be sharing the schedule for the orientation. What about vacation period? There is no vacation. school college vacation thodi hota hai. No, there would be vacation. So Diwali break uh, would be there. So in the academic calendar, we'll find the dates of uh, Diwali break and uh, semester breaks. So mostly when you have uh, odd semesters uh, getting over, you will have a small break. Uh, I don't know what's the calendar this year, but it's normally around 10 days break. And after every, uh, even semesters getting over two, four, six, uh, there would be a break of uh, around one, one and a half months. Uh, so yeah, that's the break. So what is this summer festival? So Anant University has thought that you have been 12th, you have been finished, you have been results of the board, you have been bored in the house at home. So why not to engage uh, with you? And so we have uh, curated some very exciting workshops uh, for you all, uh, I will not disclose all, but one of them is food design. And uh, we will be taking you on some trips as well. But I will not tell you more, it will be finished with the excitement of the festival. Okay. Uh, okay, hostels are coming a lot. So let me, let me brief about the hostels we have. So we have three hostels. SH1, Mayflower and Bhagat Singh Hostel. Uh, Bhagat Singh and SH1, Student Housing 1, are in campus. Mayflower is an off-campus. All the three hostels are twin sharing AC rooms. Uh, each room, on the, all, all the three hostels will have individual beds, individual almiras, uh, individual study table, bookshelf, uh, soft board, night lamp. Uh, every uh, hostel has pantry areas where we have given microwave, induction, uh, refrigerator, and water coolers. Uh, this is a basic, uh, every hostel we ha uh, will have these amenities. We have a common uh, facilities like we have general store, which is available in SH1, uh, which will 
सो इन पेंट्रीज में सबसे ज्यादा जो बनता है दैट इज मैगी यू विल फाइंड इन दैट जनरल स्टोर यू विल हैव आइसक्रीम कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स एंड अदर थिंग्स दैट यू रिक्वायर देन वी हैव जिम्नेशियम फुल फ्लेज एंड फुली इक्विप्ड जिम दैट इज अवेलेबल इन एसएच1 द मेस फॉर द इनसाइड हॉस्टल इज इन एसएच1 स्टूडेंट हाउसिंग वन फॉर मे फ्लावर दे हैव देयर ओन मेस ऑन द ग्राउंड फ्लोर सो या दीस आर द बेसिक फैसिलिटीज एंड एम्यूनिटीज दैट इज अवेलेबल इन द हॉस्टल yes you will get semester calendar by the academic affairs team okay so i have completed my uh, reading out the questions any further question okay ananya please uh sir like when i visited the campus like uh, they were they told me that there is a, a sports training facility for athletes uh, so we have the sanskar dam sports academy okay you must have seen when you have visited Uh, so there would be a predefined, pre-decided days and time slots uh, that would be uh, shared with the students, and on those times only uh, you will have access uh, uh, to the facility of the sports academy. Otherwise, we have uh, table tennis and indoor games available in the C block of uh, the SH1 hostel. Thank you. Yadvi, yes, we have a TT table in uh, the C block indoor sports. uh summer timing summer festival timings would you will have to reach here to the campus by 9:30 will start all our activities by 10 10 am it would be 10 to 5 any other questions before we wind up this session any questions no Yes, just yes. one question. Yeah, please. Ah, uh, do we have uh, this is Bharti? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, ah, uh, do we have a medical store and ATM nearby the college? Ah, uh, ma'am, we have infirmary in the C block of the student housing one and at the campus as well, and uh, all the uh, basic medicine requirements are fulfilled by this infirmaries. Ah, uh, the nearest ATM is around ah. Uh, Two and a half kilometers. It's an SBI ATM, and if you go a little, um, it's one kilometer ahead. You will find ATM of Axis Bank, uh, ICIC Bank. Okay, okay. Now I'm saying your medical store is the something which, uh, being a, uh, um, uh, this doctors would require or they need to. Uh, Ma'am, the like nearest. Uh, yeah, so uh, you will find uh, the stores nearby. So maximum uh, three kilometers you will find. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. uh yes hethri yes sir the yes, sir. question is uh, we need to open a bank account also so do we have to start the procedure from here or after coming there uh, it can be okay so let me give the answer for the benefit of all uh if you are 18 or 18 plus uh you can get your bank account open uh, i i can uh, arrange uh, Uh, the bank uh, person here in campus during the orientation time but if uh, you are below 18 it would be preferable if you uh, get the account open at your hometown and uh, then come uh, so, uh, in in continuation to this uh, we are coming from uae so it would be an nri account or a, a normal account sir aadhar card pan card address proof agar yahan ka hai to yahan ka ho jayega okay okay and uh, mandatory document is there anything from the bank which we come up front so that we can bring all this thing uh so i i, I don't have uh, the perfect answer for this uh, but uh, can you contact me tomorrow uh, so that i can have the answer first okay i'll drop the mail or i will call you yes sir yes, you can call okay fine and uh, uh, college is uh, working on saturday or saturday sunday only uh, so you asking currently or in general sir in general means student have to attend the college on saturday sunday so or the classes the classes runs from monday to friday saturday sundays are off days okay yeah but the campus is open if they have assignment their projects uh, they can come they can uh, work in the studios their classrooms make a space area so that would be open for them thank you
Uh, Hesha, are you still in this session? Hello, am I audible now? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. yeah. Sorry, my net went off, so I was logged out. Uh, so, you, but, yes? So yes, ma'am. How to give uh, her hostel reference, hostel preference? Uh, as I said, Bhavna, now we have only one option, that is uh, Bhagat Singh hostel. So, okay, sir. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. I am Preeti Murai. Yes, ma'am. Sir, I would like to ask which is the nearest bank from the college so that we can open the account in our hometown itself. Uh, ma'am, the nearest bank is SBI. And uh, if you go half a kilometer ahead of that, you will have access ICICI. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, so for boys, uh, if you want to give hostel preference, drop a mail to admissions ID with your preference of SH1 or Mayflower. Uh, Ma'am, I haven't seen a PNB nearby. I need to check. Bharti Ma'am, you want to say something? Uh, you have raised your hand. Any other questions? No questions? Can you wind up? Sir? Uh, yes, Kush. Sir, do we need to submit the documents once we get the forms? Yes. Yes. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Excuse uh -huh. me, sir? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, yes. Uh, do, uh, if a kid has a bank account already over here, uh, do they have to open a account over there again? No, ma'am. No, need not be. Yeah. Okay. And the stationery Thank shop you. here accepts digital payment. The canteen we have accepts digital payment. No questions? Uh, yes. Sir, I did not find any option for hostel preferences. How so there was no to... special. Uh, uh, what you say, option given in any portal or application. Uh, if uh, the student had any special preference, uh, uh, means after this uh, video that we have shared, uh, they have just mailed to the admissions ID uh, that uh, which is their preferred hostel. And uh, based on the first come first serve basis of payment, we we are looking into that. Yes. Uh, 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 yes, sir. Uh, uh, Ahmedabad, how far is the HDFC branches are uh, away from your college? Are there any any branch of HDFC nearby? As uh, you said, SBI, yes. Access Bank, and ICICI. HDFC is nearby, but I don't know the exact distance. Uh, in the Bhopal area, B O P L, Bhopal, uh, that's the nearest uh, marketplace and. Uh, Everything means all, all, all the basic requirements uh, you can get it there. So I think in Bhopal area uh, you have SDFC Bank House. Okay, okay, thanks, thanks. Yes, Ananya. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. 
uh, sir, my question is: uh, in all the documents, uh, the signature for both the parents are required. But currently, my dad is not in uh, India. So, is it okay if only my mother signs all the documents, even in the hard copy? Yes, it will work. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. No questions. So you all have contact details of uh, uh, me, uh, Ruchika, uh, Shilpa, and uh, Divya. Uh, we are from the admissions team. In case you have any queries, uh, you can reach out to us, and uh, we'll be happy to help you out. I don't have Ruchika's ma'am's number. Ruchika, ma'am, if you can reach out to Netra. Ruchika ma'am is in this session. Ruch, I have Ruchika ma'am will message you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so very excited to see you all in campus. Some during the summer festival. Uh, some on yes, Nivedita. Yes, yes. Please tell me, Nivedita. Hello, sir. आवाज़ बहुत धीमी आ रही है. Yes, Nivedita. Hello, sir. Yes. So I had doubt re regarding hostel. So uh, I haven't given any preference yet, but I've paid the fees. Okay. So what is the preference? So uh, as I said uh, during the session that we have uh, uh, currently only Bhagasing as uh, the hostel that is available. So in the next semester. So uh, if there is any uh, availability in any of the hostels, that time you can uh, reshuffle. So Bhagat Singh hostel is outside the campus? No, no, no. It's inside the campus. It's a girls hostel. Okay. All girls hostel. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So as I was saying that uh, we are very exciting to welcome you all at Anantyu. And uh, some of you would be coming soon in a week's time. Uh, for the exciting workshops. Uh, we will be posting uh, the event videos, uh, the workshop videos uh, of the summer festival for the benefit of you all. Uh, if you have not uh, started following the Insta pages of Anantyu and every specialization that we offer, please do. Please also uh, follow the Anantyu student life. And uh, yeah. See you soon at Anantyu campus. Thank you so much for joining. In case you face any difficulty uh, in uploading documents or any, any of the processes, please do reach out to us. We'll be very happy to help you all. Thank you so much and enjoy the day. Thank you. Good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Th